Hello people, this is Christian. Welcome back to my computer and Fusion for 60. And this little box we have in front of here, which is a hinge box, and yep, yeah, that's not that interesting. The interesting thing is the corners here that are created with a small hack using the chamfer tool. I'm chamfering the edges here and it makes this nicely blended corner with round corners, not sharp edges. That looks quite nice when 3D printed. Here's the 3D printed model. It's printed on this flat side here down to the print bed. I think about 0 0.15 layer height and this is a 5mm chamfer, no supports needed. It prints nicely. Slight problem where on the back side, the, this is towards the cooling fan and this long side here is uh, behind the cooling fan. So there's a small artifact due to a bit of bad cooling, but that's another discussion. So let's look at the simplified model. This is all I do. I extrude the box. I chamfer it, creating both a chamfer side and the round corners, and then I can do the shell command. And I can shell this nicely, basically any thickness I want. I can do 5 millimeters. I can even over chamfer it, so it basically just becomes a rectangle inside, or a box inside, without any arrows. Uh, a common workflow of creating this is like a surface tool, creating this, and you get Sometimes bad surfaces that will not shell when you're done, and that's a bit boring. So this works nicely that. Uh, still, uh, the surface of, of this little corner here is really crap. We can have a look at isocurves. And just crank those up. You can see the isocurves are really not nicely orientated. And we add your curvature comps. You can see here are some strange curvatures. But Fusion will handle it nicely. Uh, this is the same chamfer on all sides. We're going to have a look at that. So let's create a new design. New design. Create a sketch. I'm going to create a simple rectangle. I'm just going to work for this center rectangle. Uh, add some dimensions. B for extrude. Let's do it 40 millimeters. So we have a simple box. Hide the sketches for now. So nothing strange. And we're going to do the chamfer tool. Now I'm going to reset things here. Normally when you start is equal distance and chamfer. This is how you normally start the chamfer command. Uh, so we're going to do this and we're going to do one edge here. That's enough. We're going to do five millimeters. So this is the only edge. Of course we can select the other ones too, but let's look at this corner. So we have a chamfer. Looks quite nice. We have a miter. Yes. And we have a blend. All of them creating sharp edges. This is basically a hexagon. It should be a hexagon. I think it's a hexagon. Uh, anyway, yeah, that works. But I wanted a soft corner. So I remember I had been playing around with this. So we're going to do reselection here. I'm going to keep it at blend because that's the function that creates the soft corner. So you're going to select the top here. I'm going to make a 5 millimeter here. I'm going to add selection set and do this corner and do that 4 millimeters. And as you can see, if uh, the length of the side are different, we're going to get this so a rounded, soft uh, blend thing going on. So you get a soft corner. But if I want all edges to have the same chamfer and not need to fool around. So let's cancel that. Do a new chamfer command. And let's see. We're going to select the top face. We can select our edges. Let's move around. Let's select all of them now to show you the end result. We're going to do a 5 millimeter chamfer. You get the little hexagons, so they are all now 5. So we put in it, corner type should be blend. Type here, normally you are equal distance. Change it to distance and angle. And we're going to tilt the angle slightly, slightly. It means these three chamfers will not be uh, aligned correctly. So Fusion needs to solve it. So we're going to do it 45.01, which will be neglectable when you 3D print it. We will not be able to see it. And by doing that, we get this nice thing. We can now change the shape of this. Of course, that's too much. 7, 8, we can 2, 1, 2, like anything we want. And we get a nice chamfer. Why I want to do chamfers? I want to avoid fillets here, because I was all printing this on this face down. It can get a bit ugly with fillet. Chamfers are much nicer to 3D print. So that's create the chamfer, create the wrong corner. And we can now do the shell here, two millimeters. Sorry, two. And we have a nice shell on the inside without 
too much error. There are <clears throat> numbers you can put in to make this crash, of course. So this is just a small idea what you can do with your chamfer tool to make simple uh, round the corner without too much work. So I hope this is useful to you. Take care, see you around, and bye.